Hi, my name is Anthony Samroff. I'm an international life coach. I wrote a book called Procrastination Annihilation, which if you're suffering <clears throat> from procrastination, you can download for free at beyourselfandloveit.com forward slash do it. And I was thinking about my process of going from being a chronic procrastinator to a productive person. I put out two podcasts a week. One of them is called Be Yourself and Love It podcast. You can follow it on iTunes. And I do little videos like this. I'm the kind of person who writes for 30 minutes to an hour a day. I journal three pages every day to help me process my emotions. I'm the kind of person that eats a piece of fruit every day, that takes a walk every around the block every day. I'm the kind of person that goes to the gym twice a week. And I'm the kind of person who makes the bed before I leave the house. And what all of these things have in common is I wasn't the kind of person who did these things a year and a half ago. And I realized that that's a really profound change in me, you know, the change that I'm the kind of person who goes and does uh, pull-ups on, on, on a bar, you know, when, when, in between tasks when I'm in the hall. I, and there's lots of things that I'd like to be the kind of person who does. Like, I'd love to be the kind of person who gets up in the morning and does yoga for 15, 20 minutes. Hell, I'd love to be the kind of person who does a whole hour of yoga after I wake up. I'd love to be the kind of person who makes time to practice the piano every day and be the kind of person who records an album. And the great difference between me now and before I came became the kind of person that did all that other stuff that I told you I'm the kind of person who does, is I've got the experience of going from being the kind of person who doesn't write for 30 to 60 minutes a day to the kind of person who does. I've got, the kind, I've got experience of being the kind of person who doesn't go to the gym twice a week and becoming the kind of person who does. I've got the, I wasn't even the kind of person who took any physical exercise. And that is such a massive difference because what it means is I've got the mindset, I've got the belief that I can actually change myself and become the kind of person. Like, I've got a measurable, I'm a measurably different person from who I was two years ago because I'm the kind of person who does all these things that I wasn't the kind of person that I did. So what I want to say to you is I don't know what you want to do with your life, whether you want to write a book or start a business or um, if you want to record music or do art every day. There's something that your heart longs to do that you don't give yourself permission to do. And the chances are, if you're stuck, you probably are always or often thinking about getting things done. I need to finish that article so I can f send it away. I need to do this. I need to do that. And the truth is, it's not about doing the work. It's about becoming the kind of person, the kind of person that does the work. I don't worry about finishing the books that I'm working on when I write anymore. I used to always think I have to finish something. I don't think like that anymore. I mostly think about how can I get started today? Just even 20, 30 minutes. Can I zone off a time? Can I put my timer on and say, okay, I'm going to sit down for half an hour and do this thing that's going to contribute to my long-term well-being. And if I do this thing today and I do it tomorrow and I do it the day after that, then I'll become, in time, the kind of person who does this thing every day. And I'm bound to reach success. So don't think about getting finished. Not yet, anyway. When you've finished, I don't know, let's just take the example of you being an author like me. When you've finished one book, you can think of how to get the next book finished. But don't think, when am I going to finish my book? Just build up a habit of doing that one thing every day. Don't try and change everything, because if you change, try and change everything, you won't change anything. Try and get one routine. Choose one thing that you think if you did every day for three weeks, you'd be the kind of person that does that every day. Maybe it'd take a bit longer than that. Once you've got that locked in, or once that starts to become easier for you, you can choose something else and start becoming the kind of person who does that 
every day. My friend Daniel Scott has something to say. This is a profound truth in a sense. If you want something bad enough, you don't have to push through much nitty gritty because things will naturally happen by your sheer continued action. How true that is. You know, Thomas Carlyle said something like, the weakest creature by their focused effort can achieve something, but the strongest, most intelligent will achieve nothing by putting their energies out in every day. Your willpower is like an allowance. So what I suggest, what changed my life is that I focused on building up a routine, doing something that was difficult for me. When I was working on my book, Procrastination Annihilation, which you can get for free at beyourselfandloveit.com forward slash do it, I was working for it two, three hours a day, five days a week. But before I was able to work on it for two or three hours a day, five days a week, I had to first get the practice of writing half an hour a day, no matter what. And when I got into my book, it was easy to upgrade. Please share this video if you think it's useful. Share it once on your wall and choose a Facebook group that you think people will like it in because I can't share it because uh, Facebook will think I'm spamming. If you guys help me out by sharing it on your news feed and sharing it in a group, that will really, really help me get this information out to people that can help. So please, please, if you think this is useful, share it. If you would like help going from where you are now to becoming the kind of person that does the things that you want to do. Reading my book is great, but the best thing you can possibly do is fork out for some personal coaching with me. Send me a Facebook message or email me at Anthony and be yourself at love it com. Anthony at be yourself and love it com because I will help you get through the psychological blocks that uh, I'll help you talk through that element and process your emotions to make it easier for you to take action on things. We can do some organization in our sessions. There's tons of stuff that we can do in personal coaching that will help you go from where you are now to where you want to be. And it'll save you tons of time if you feel time limited. You don't have the time not to not to book me. So I definitely suggest you do that. If not, download my book because it's free. And please, please, please do me a favor, share this video so I can speak to new people. Thank you. And until next live feed, be yourself. Well, don't just be yourself. Be yourself and love it.